Happy Sabbath children. Welcome to Sabbath school. I'm sure you're so happy to be back in the church, right? Okay, to begin our Sabbath school, let's start with saying thank you to Jesus. Last week we learned, right? I will give praise to God forever. So let's have a word of prayer and thank him for the Sabbath. Close your eyes and fold your hands. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for this Sabbath morning. As we sing songs, praise your name. May your name be glorified now and always. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's begin with singing a few songs. What day is today? The Sabbath day, right? And since it's the Sabbath day, we'll sing Sabbath is a happy day. Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Do you love Sabbaths? Yes, all of us love to have our Sabbaths. Okay, do you remember the song Auntie taught you last week? We are talking about the animals, little and little babies asking the mothers who made them. Okay, we are going to sing that, okay? So first we are going to sing about the animals, then we have the birds, okay? Little different birds. Let's sing. Little tiny kitten said, who made me? Who made all my family? Then the mother cat said, God made me on the sixth day. Little tiny lamb said, who made me? Who made all my family? Then the mother bear said, God made me on the sixth day. Little tiny robin said, who made me? Who made all my family? Then the mother robin said, God made me on the fifth day. Little tiny duckling said, who made me? Who made all my family? Then the mother duck said, God made me on the fifth day. Little tiny baby said, who made me? Who made all my family? Then the baby's mother said, God made us on the sixth day. So on sixth day, we were created. Adam and Eve was created. That is, man was created. Okay, in the next song, one more song we'll sing. I like to see the butterfly. I'm sure you all love that song, right? Let's make butterflies with our hands. I like to see the butterfly flying high, flying low. I like to see the butterfly. Jesus made them, I know. Okay, I'm a little star for Jesus. I'm a little star for Jesus. I'm a little star for Jesus. All the way I shine for him. I'm a little star, a happy little star. I'm a little star for Jesus. I'm a little star, a happy little star. I'm a little star for Jesus. Each one of you little children are little stars for Jesus and we need to shine for him. Okay, well, for today, today we are going to learn about a very special person, about a special thing that she had done. It was about a poor widow's offering. Okay, now, do you all like to give freely? Like if you have, just imagine you had two, two dolls or two toys that you had and you want, your mommy said, you had your friend come or your cousin come and your mommy said, can you share one with your friend? Would you say, here please take it or we'll say, no, I don't want to give. Which one? Would you give happily? We should give happily, right? Okay, let's listen to our story for today, okay? 
there was one day Jesus was in the synagogue. He had gone and he, they were all sitting and there were people coming there. They were coming forward and they were giving their offerings. All of them were giving their offerings. Some of them had plenty money. So you know what they did? They would not just put it like this. They would look around. Who is seeing? They would take that big bag of money and they would drop it down. And everybody would see so much money. And everybody, they would say, ah, I give more. I give more. They would be very proud about themselves. So many of them gave like that. But then, as they were giving, there was one lady who had just a few coins. She had just two coins in her hand. Just two small coins. And that's all she had. She didn't have any money with her. She hadn't eaten food properly. But she said, I want to give Jesus and whatever I have. I have to give God and whatever I have to give, I'll give it. And so she takes it and she sees if nobody is watching, she's feeling embarrassed because everybody is giving so much and she just has two coins in her hand. So you know what she does? She comes and looks and without anybody seeing it, she goes near the offering bag and she slowly puts it inside and she tries to walk away. But who saw this? Who saw this woman doing that? Jesus saw it. Yes, Jesus saw it and he told the people who were there, he said, see, she is the one who gave more. Did she give more? She gave just two coins. The others gave plenty. But Jesus said, she is the one who gave more because she gave with all her heart. She was so happy that she could give with all her heart. Now, what do we do? When we can give, we to give cheerfully, happily give to others to serve God. Our memory verse is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. It says, God loves a cheerful giver. So how do we give? We give cheerfully. Cheerfully means what? Happily. Do we have to give only money for God to serve Him, to praise Him, to worship Him? No. Can you think of some ways that you can serve God? Okay, let's think of it. Okay. Can we be kind? Yes. That's one way of being happily doing things, no? Like if mommy or daddy your grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle or our cousin, anybody tells us to do something, we do it happily with a smile on our face. Yes, mama, I'll do it for you. Okay, mama, I will not go there. It's not like, no, I will do it. When you do it cheerfully, you are making others happy and making God happy. Okay, being obedient, being kind. Anything else that we can give God? We can give our time, that is take time to sing songs for Jesus. When we sit for worship, do you sit, sit grumpily and say, I don't want to sing, I want to sleep, or I want to watch phone, I want to watch TV? No. What do we do? Yes, it's time for Jesus and I have to give more time for God and spend time singing songs and praising Him. So these are things that we can do in order to make Jesus happy and this is the way we serve Him. Let's have a word of prayer before we close. If you close your eyes. Let's thank Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you for this Sabbath. Thank you for helping us learn that we need to give whatever we can cheerfully to praise you and to glorify you in all that we do. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.